So now we are going to see how you can do the hypothesis testing using Python. So if you recall, then we started this week with your one mean test and for that we considered when standard deviation is known to you and the second case was when it is unknown. So first of all, we will begin with the known sigma and the right tail test for that. So let me just write the comment over here known sigma and we are going to do the right tail test okay so in right tail test you know that what is the hypothesis the null hypothesis in that case is that so let me just mention over here so h so let me just comment it so h naught basically in that case would be that mu is less than equal to 40 versus your alternative that mu is greater than 40 suppose 40 well, you can consider this as mu naught or since here we are going to take um, the null mean or the hypothesized population mean as 40 so i have just kept this as 40 okay so in this shows that mu naught is 40 basically so to begin with let us import the necessary libraries so we are going to import scipy dot stats as stats so basically we are importing this module as stats which provides statistical functions and distributions okay so since here we are going to deal with your normal distribution so here this scipy would contain your normal distribution also let us write what are the sample data points to given to us so let us assume that this um, sample mean is 42 okay and since in this case we know the sigma so we would write population std suppose as 10 sample size let that be 30 and your hypothesized mean value is basically you can write the null mean as 40 okay so these are the sample data and population parameters okay so this is sample mean you have taken a sample in order to test or verify the claim that has been made and you know that population standard deviation is 10 you took a sample of size 30 its sample mean came out as 42 and you are interested to check whether mu is greater than 40 or not right so the next step here after writing the hypothesis is you have to find the z score or the test statistic over here so the test statistic we will calculate calculate the test statistic So let me use z star because we use that same notation there. So what is the formula for that? Sample mean minus mu naught divided by sigma by root n because this test statistic is calculated under the null hypothesis. Okay. So mu naught that is equal to sign is there. Okay. So we will write sample mean minus null mean all divided by pop std okay divided by sample underscore size raised to the power because we have to take the square root of that so we will write 0.5 okay so x bar minus mu naught divided by sigma that is your population standard deviation divided by root n okay so this is your z star and then we will set the level of significance so let that be alpha be 0 0.05 now you could calculate the critical value if you are using the rejection region approach calculate the critical value for the right tail test so this one would be critical 
underscore value stats dot norm okay dot ppf okay so basically we are finding the critical value using this percent point function which is inverse of cumulative distribution function for the standard normal distribution so here we write 1 minus alpha okay so you can know over here that i have written stats dot norm dot ppf and in the bracket i have written 1 minus alpha and if you remember in the lecture i said that you are going to reject the null hypothesis if z star is greater than z alpha so it means that z score is calculated at alpha value right however i have written over here 1 minus alpha the reason is that because we are working with this ppf function which is the primary function in python for finding the critical values now what it does is that it is going to return the z score such that the area to the left of this score is 1 minus alpha okay so basically you see that obviously and below the curve if you go beyond z alpha that would be alpha region right where we reject the null hypothesis and that is what we consider in the theory now when you consider to the left side of it that is 1 minus alpha so what this ppf function does is that it returns the z score that corresponds to the given cumulative probability from the left side okay so this ensures that the area in the rejection region that is the right tail of the distribution is exactly alpha so both of these are the same things it is just because the way the function ppf is defined in python okay so it looks at uh, the z score from the from the left side okay and if you want to directly use uh, like you do not want 1 minus alpha you want to use alpha only and you want to maintain that uh, similarity between the theory and the python code so there is one more function that is defined as inverse survival function in python so you, instead of ppf you can write isf okay so same thing would be there and 1 minus alpha and so you would replace 1 minus alpha by alpha and that would return the z score for which area to the right under the normal is alpha here in this case it is considering the area to the left of this score is 1 minus alpha okay so both of them will give the same result so in this course we are going to work with this ppf function that is why wherever we are working with the right tail you will see that alpha would be replaced by 1 minus alpha because that is the area to the left of it below the curve i hope that is clear that why we are taking this as 1 minus alpha now you can compare the test statistic to the critical value okay compare the test statistic that you have calculated over up here test statistic to the critical value okay so what you have you will write if statement if the z star is greater than the critical value critical underscore value then you would print reject the null hypothesis okay else this else would be coming here print we fail to reject the null hypothesis okay so what we have done over here because first of all we have found out the critical value that is z alpha z star is there z alpha is there basically or you can say the critical value and we say that we are going to reject the null hypothesis if z star value that is the test statistic that you have calculated is greater than the tabulated value that is the critical value if it is so then you reject the null hypothesis otherwise you will fail to reject the null hypothesis okay it shows that you fail to reject the null hypothesis okay so let us see what were these z star values so let me just mention what is z star z star was 1.095 and your critical value came out as 1.64 so you can see that your z star here is less than 
your critical value so you fail to reject the null hypothesis okay so this is about your right tail test in the same way you can perform your left tailed test also so let us look at that so let me just use this left tail test what will be the hypothesis over here if it is left tailed so it would be greater than equal to here and you are interested to show that mu is less than 40 this is your left tail test okay now let us use the same data so we have already imported this scipy.stats library so sample mean is 42 so maybe i could write this again okay in fact if you see you can just copy the entire thing the diff i will tell you where the difference will be because if you remember in theory also we have minute difference between when you are going from right tail to left tail right so hypothesis is this so obviously these values are same z star would be calculated in the same way the difference